What's going on guys? It's New Jesus and today I am back with another video. I didn't think I'd be back so soon because I just made one like 12 hours ago but some breaking news just happened and I want to catch all of you up to speed on what's going on. Now if you haven't seen my last video I recommend watching it. It's about the boosters being reset back to level 1. The boosters that were using the council method and also hacks. Some of them were using hacks but most of them were using the council method to climb the ranks to the top of the world for multiplayer ranked. A lot of you had questions and comments wondering why they weren't banned. Why were these people allowed to boost up and not get banned? Why is Activision messing around with them and resetting them at the end of the season instead of just removing them right away off the leaderboard? Now that's a good question, but you have to remember that these people that are doing this, they're boosting on councils and shadow ban lobbies with VPNs only able to connect to themselves. They're not really ruining the experience for other players because they're never getting matched with them. Yes, they're ruining the leaderboards as a whole, right? But you gotta understand that the appropriate punishment for people that spend so much time boosting is to make them waste as much time as possible thinking they're gonna get away with it and then removing them on the last day. But I totally understand that a lot of you wanted to see some of the users get banned right some of them deserve it 100 percent, i agree with that and i think that they shouldn't have just been reset like i said in the video i do think that they should have been banned well for those of you that are wishing for that i have some good news for you and some bad news for you i'll give you the good news first so the good news is that artificial aiming and engine owning two very large cheap providers have been detected they weren't just detected today, they were detected a while ago. And just this morning, they issued a massive ban wave, banning tens of thousands of accounts. Now, I don't know for certain if it was tens of thousands of accounts, but based off of the amount of people that go to these providers and use them, because they're like the Walmart of providers, very easy to access for anybody. You just Google, and then the first thing that shows up. So I'm assuming they have a massive amount of people that buy from them and cheat. So they were detected and tons of people were banned. Not only were the people that were paying for these cheats banned and used them, right? But it was a free trial for cheats these past two days. So imagine you think to yourself, I want to try cheating. It's a free trial. You go and use these providers and then you get banned. They obviously have detected these cheat providers previously and they were waiting for a free weekend to get not only the people that pay, but also the majority of people that are thinking about cheating and wanting to try the free trial out. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump on artificial aiming into their forums and see what the members are saying about the ban wave. So first off, we got Slander702 who says, I too also got perm banned. He was responding to another user. And then Elfish84 responds to him saying, yep, me too, perm ban, another ban wave, question mark. Now before we go on to the rest of the comments, I wanna go ahead and point something out on Elfish84's account. If you look below his name, it says Artificial Aiming VIP, which means that he spent an excessive amount of money on the website for these cheats and earned the VIP badge. That's usually how it goes for these cheat providers. And if you look, he joined in April of 2019. It's been five years that this guy has been cheating. Five years. You have to be the biggest degenerate to be cheating for five years. It would be less shameful to be addicted to heroin. Next up, we got someone that says, I got banned on four accounts and two accounts last time. I think it is detected, and if you use artificial aiming once on any account, you get banned. Now it happened 30 minutes ago. He followed that up saying, yes, they got some on first time, then waited to catch more this time. After a wave, they let us play for some time to think it's safe, then bam, we get banned. Right here, we have a member saying three Steam and two Battle.net accounts banned. Forsaken Ash, a member since February of 2024, had this to say. Same here, three Steam accounts perm just now. Just leveled up to 300 and perm banned. I believe I'm done with this game. Good news, stop playing if you're going to cheat. We don't want you here. Next up, we have a lot. This is another member from 2024, but he joined in March. He said, permanent ban, account created today, 4424, windowed borderless, spoofed, no ID, 2D, 3D. So even though he spoofed, he was still banned. Felipe378, a member since November of 2023. Also the same for me. New account banned in the middle of a match. Next up, we have a bigger degenerate than Elfish84. 
This guy has been around since 2009, a member on this website, a cheating website, for 14 years and still active. What's he doing with his life? I'm not sure. If you ever feel down about yourself or unhappy with your life, just look at this guy. This is the bottom. You were nowhere near the bottom. It doesn't matter how bad your life gets, it will never be as bad as this guy's. I just want you to know that. Next up, we have someone who says, me too, I just logged in today, I checked if I was banned and I was not. Then I watched Battle.net and was permabanned. The guy below him, me too now, with a fresh account and a Battle.net when I'm gaming. Smell not good. Doesn't smell good, definitely doesn't. So you guys asked for it. You wanted to see some people get banned. You want you know, Activision to bring the ban hammer down on these cheaters, and they definitely did. They brought it down this morning, and they banned a lot of people. We won't know the exact numbers until they share with us, but I guarantee you it's a lot. It's a lot. I've never seen that many people freaking out on the forum before. Okay? So every cheat provider didn't get hit, but two big ones did. Two huge ones did. So it's a W. So that was the good news, and now we're going to go ahead and slide into the bad news and tell you about that. Real quick, before we get to the bad stuff, I have one more piece of good news to share with you. Right here, this is a photo from inside Moavelli's Discord. If you haven't watched my previous videos and don't know who Moavelli is, he was the person that boosted number one last season, season two, in multiplayer ranked, and had a buyer for that account for $6,000, but he ended up having that account reset. I think it's hilarious how angry Moavelli is, and that I'm still in his Discord, and he has no idea who I am. They're literally going through purging tons of people from the server because they can't figure out which accounts are mine. It's literally destroying their entire community from the inside. Alright, now it's time to finally cover the bad news. Alright, so as you guys know, I'm inside of many hacking discords for Call of Duty trying to gather as much evidence as possible for Activision while also creating content for you guys so you can share it and bring awareness and try to get Activision to bring the hammer down on these cheaters. In one of these servers, Hitman had a few things to say. Now if you don't know who Hitman is, I made a video a while back, my first video exposing cheaters on the top 250. That server that I exposed was called Call of Duty and Hitman was the co-owner of that server. So he's very well known in the cheating scene. The first thing Hitman says is, I didn't get reset, at least not on my main. So what is Hitman talking about? Well, if you didn't watch my last video, and you don't know what's going on, at the end of Season 2, Activision went in and manually reviewed every account in the top 250 for multiplayer ranked play, and removed the people that they could confirm without a doubt was boosting, or hacking. If they were hacking, they were banned. If they were boosting, they were just reset, okay? But Hitman, who is very well known, one of the leaders of large communities of cheaters, was not reset. How could that be? Do they not know his Activision ID? I'm not sure. But if they don't know his Activision ID, I'm here to provide that to you. So his Activision ID is feedings. Obviously, I don't have the numbers for it, okay, to pinpoint exactly which feedings it is. But Activision should be able to go back and look at the top 250 leaderboard for multiplayer ranked play and see who was third in the world on February 18th, 2024 in league feedings to Hitman and easily be able to trace that account ID and ban him. That's simple. So hopefully they can get his account not only reset, but also permanently banned. Hitman then went on to say more things. If y'all play in ranked multiplayer, if you're bronze rank 1 after the reset, you'll be diamond 1 after a game. Milkman is diamond 1 after one game and he was bronze reset. Milkman was literally number 2 on multiplayer ranked leaderboards. They reset him to punish him and uh, they put him back to bronze and apparently after a single game it puts him back up to diamond as if they finished in the top 250 still. Even though they didn't. So. They never really got reset anyways. They got put back where they should be to begin with. If you're top 250, you get reset back to Diamond 1 anyways. So resetting them to Bronze didn't work. In fact, did nothing. All you did was prevent them from getting the leaderboard rewards. So they get to keep all the stuff they cheated for in the previous seasons, but also were never actually truly reset for the new season. Big mistake by Activision. And for our last and final victim of the video today, 
If you watched my previous one yesterday, we made fun of this guy. His name is Crown. He was so upset that he got reset, he couldn't even speak English. He couldn't type. He didn't know what he was saying. He was just so angry. It was just all coming out in different words and gibberish. Well, it turns out that he did not learn his lesson because he is back doing the same thing literally the next day. So here's Crown right here in a hacking discord that's known for council boosting with multiple accounts and shadow ban lobbies. And who is he playing with? None other than Rolex himself. And you guys haven't met Rolex yet, but I'm going to introduce you to him. Rolex is the owner of the discord server Rolex Services, where the only way in is to be a hacker. Also, once you get inside and you get accepted by them because you've proven that you're a hacker with a software and a computer by sharing your screen and opening it, you then will play with other hackers to reach the top 250. Or if you're a council booster with multiple councils, you will play together and use councils and shadowband lobbies with VPNs to boost yourself to the top 250. That is what this server is, and this is proof that resetting the hackers and the boosters does absolutely nothing because literally the next day, they are back doing the same thing again. And not only that, they're immediately diamond after one game, when they should be bronze still. Alright, so we're inside Rolex's server. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the stuff that's inside of here so you guys can see. And most of the stuff also is pretty important information I think Activision needs to know about. They might not know this is going on, but I think it's important that they do know what's going on because it's costing them a lot of money if they don't patch this. Alright, so as you guys just saw, this is the COD points category. There's also a vouchers category. You can see everything in the server until you become pretty well trusted by the other members and they give you certain roles so you can see everything that there is. But for right now, I'm going to cover these two sections, the COD points and the vouchers, so we can kind of get an understanding of what's going on in the server. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on what this says. Alright, so this is what it says. For this service, What's needed for you is to have an Xbox account linked to your Activision. It's a simple method that's done very easy. There's no risk of anything happening to the account, so don't you worry. The steps for this is for you to provide us with the Xbox account. You choose whatever COD points you want that's listed below and for the amount you choose. Pick your desired bundles and make sure you add up the cost of each bundle to the amount of COD points you're paying for to make everything easier. And if we scroll down a little further, we can see the prices for the COD points. For 21,000 COD points, it's $60, but it's worth $150. For 42,000 COD points, it's $110, but it's worth $300. For 63,000, it's $160, bucks, but it's worth $450. US dollars. So not only are they boosting and hacking the server, they're also selling COD points for cheaper value and stealing revenue right underneath Activision's nose. And despite them boosting, all Activision did was slap on the wrist with a reset, even though they're literally stealing from the company. Interesting. Now why don't we take a look and see what else is going on in the server, underneath the vouchers. Alright, so the first thing we see is thanks for the Erie account 1000% safe at Gus at Mo. So it looks like they're either boosting accounts up or hacking on the accounts to get them up or stealing accounts and selling them. I wouldn't be surprised if they're stealing accounts or any of that stuff because look what they're doing with the cop points. Next thing we have here is that we can see two people, Nomas, thank Mo for 21,000 cop points and Snack also thank Mo for 21,000 cop points as well. Now if we keep scrolling up we're going to see a bunch of people thank Mo for getting their accounts to iridescent and then we're going to see more people thank Mo Rolex and CEO Shiesty for getting their accounts the new quest contract completed. We have another person saying big shout out to Habib at Rolex for the hardware ID reset very quick and reliable service and then another person did the hardware ID unbanned three times fastest on the market and efficient thank you. Goro says at Mo the goat hooked my account up with all the bundles in the store. Grimy says 42,000 COD points worth of bundles, 1010 recommended thanks at Rolex at Mo. And now we have an interesting one by Chop. At Rolex Mo, 1010 service, top 250 and two nights is insane. Thank you everyone for the help, much appreciated. Fast and easy service. They got in top 250 apparently in two days. Two days, top 250. We have another top 250 one here. Mo is your goat. He did the impossible possible in three days ranking my diamond account to top 250 and level 36. In another three days to reach top 50 and rank 50. 
Thanks for your amazing work. Always deal with Mo and Rolex. There just seems to be an endless amount of people thanking for hardware ID unbans, top 250 placement, iridescent placement, uh, nuke skin rewards, COD points, endless. I, there's so many, I couldn't showcase them all, but I wanted to showcase some of the stuff to show you what's going on in the server. So what was the point of me showing you all that? Well, that brings us full circle on our friend Crown here and Mo Valley, both who were reset. Do you think after seeing all that, all they deserved was a reset? I don't think so. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think Activision should do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.